All right, welcome back to another challenge. This time it's compare the triplets. Let's get started. So in this problem, you can see there's two people, Alice and Bob, and Alice gets three numbers and Bob gets three numbers. These are their scores for how well they've designed a problem. And our input is gonna be Alice's three scores and Bob's three scores. And what they want us to output is uh, Alice's comparison score and Bob's comparison score. And you can calculate it by seeing five here is bigger than three. So Alice's first score in problem clarity is higher than Bob's, so Alice gets one point. For the second category, they both have the same amount, so neither of them gets a point. And for the third category, Bob has 10 points, while Alice only has seven, so Bob gets a point. So in total, Alice has one point and Bob has one point. Okay, so let's get started. As always, put our stuff in the solutions class and then we'll create the entry point. And we need to read in some values. So we import Java util so we can call our scanner. Okay. So what I'm gonna actually do is create, define a constant size, which is three. And that's for the number of categories. So one, two, three. So I, I'll explain why I chose to do a constant in a little bit. But first, let's just read in some values. So this time we actually do need an array. And if you're not familiar with what an array is, that's, I can give you a Quick explanation. So an array is uh, pretty much a list. So let's say we have our Alice list and it's just a list of, of numbers. So in, in this case, Alice gets three numbers. I mean, it might be one, two, three, and well, there's three numbers. And how you would refer to each specific value in this list would be something like this. Their index zero, one, two starts from zero. So if you wanted to get one, you just do uh, this kind of square bracket, put in the number associated and you'll get whatever this is. So in this case, a list, if you get it at zero, that's one. If you do the same thing for one, you're gonna get two and so on. So if you had Bob list, and this time you had five, I don't know, three, 10, that was your array. And you can see this array has a size equal to three. If you wanted to get 10, what you need to type in is B list at, not at three, but at zero, one, two, at two. And that gives you 10. Okay, so to create an array, what we need to do is, instead of int, we wanna say it's an int array, and let's go with Alice's list first. We're gonna create a new array, and it has a size, and in this case, we're gonna put size here, since we defined size to be three. And same thing goes for Bob. Bob gets a list of his scores as well, and now we can do a for loop. So in this for loop, it's gonna run uh, three times. It's gonna run when i equals zero, i equals one, and i equals two. And remember the moment i equals three, uh, three less than three doesn't hold anymore and it'll just continue. So what we need to do is populate the list first. So you can see the first three numbers that come in are Alice's scores. So here to populate it, we just say Alice at i, and this is where this i comes in handy because it goes from zero, one, two just like how here it goes from zero, one, two. So Alice, that the first score will be whatever the next integer is. And now we've populated Alice's list. So similarly, whoa, we're gonna populate Bob's list as well. So now we have a list and Bob list. So what the only thing left to do is to do the comparison like we did before, five bigger than three, then Alice gets a point, six, six, nobody gets a point, seven, 10, 10 is higher, so Bob gets a point. 
So we'll choose, we'll do the same for loop once again. And now we know if Alice's score is bigger than Bob's score, right? Because here we're comparing this with that, and then this with that, and this with that. So if Alice's score is bigger than Bob's score, then we need to give Alice a point. So what we actually need is we need a score to keep track of Alice and a score to keep track of Bob. So here, a score increments by one. And the plus plus is just a shorthand of saying a score equals a, oh, a score plus one. And that's pretty much the same thing. And, but if Bob's score is higher than Alice, then Bob's score plus plus. And in the end, our final step is to print out Alice's scores and then Bob's score. So we can do that by telling our system we want to print a line of Alice's scores followed with a space and then Bob's score. So let's give this a run. And you can see, yes, it does indeed pass. And if we test it on their sample cases or their test cases, you can see we've passed all of them. It says congratulations. So the reason here why I made this uh, constant up here is because right now for this problem, it's, it's three categories, problem clarity, originality, difficulty. But let's say, let's say uh, there was a new category put in something like, uh, I don't know. Well, they, they kind of, kind of covered everything, but whatever, let's say a fourth category comes up, then all we have to change here is change this to four. And now the person who's using this program can just input four numbers and four numbers. And all we've changed is this, is this uh, one variable over, over here. So if we had put in three at every single place here, then redoing or recoding this would be a lot more, would create a lot more pain and possibly more bugs as well. So that's why.